What's going on guys, I'm Mark Lentz hanging from Techno Buffalo, and today we're gonna to quickly talk about Qualcomm's Quick Charge 2.0 technology, which has started to become more widely available in devices released over the past few months. Now, why should Quick Charge technology really matter to us? That's what we're here to find out. We're seeing more powerful devices all the time thanks to improved display technology and faster processors, but sometimes our need for speed comes at the expense of battery life, which has become an increasingly important topic. Now, even though today's devices do have larger battery, they're still being depleted by high definition displays and quad core chips. The larger the battery, the longer it takes to charge. Now, Qualcomm's quick charge technology is designed to reduce the overall amount of time it takes to recharge your device. There are quite a few devices out in the market that are compatible with Qualcomm's quick charge technology, like the Nexus 6, Xperia Z3, HTC One M8, Moto X, and more. So what I have in front of me are the new Moto X, the Droid Turbo, the Nexus 6, and the Galaxy Note 4. Now for the Note 4, we're using Samsung's adaptive fast charger and a regular charger with the Nexus 6 since it sports the same size 3,220 milliamp battery. Now this should give us the best idea of whether or not Quick Charge 2.0 does make a major difference or not. For the Moto X, we'll be using its own standard charger and then test it with Motorola's turbo charger to see if one is better than the other. Qualcomm's technology is designed to work best when a battery is significantly depleted and the charging rate will actually slow down as charging progresses. All of these devices are at around 10% battery life, so we're gonna charge them up for about 15 minutes and we'll let you know what we find. After charging the Note 4 for about 15 minutes using the faster charger, we went from 10% to about 32%, and using a standard charger with the Nexus 6, the device went from 10% to 19%, which is 13% less than what we could have achieved using the turbo charger. The Droid Turbo Charger's 3,900 milliamp battery, meanwhile, went from 10% to roughly around 30% using Motorola's turbo charger. For the Moto X, it got up to about 25% in 15 minutes using a conventional charger, and I actually ran the Moto X back down about 10% battery and charged it back up this time I'm using the turbo charger. In about 15 minutes, I got about 40%, which is a pretty big jump over the 25% we got earlier. Now the question is, does Quick Charge 2.0 technology make a difference? Now judging by our results, we were able to get more battery quicker. And if you're only by an outlet for a few minutes, like a layover between flights, Quick Charge technology is definitely useful and will get you a few extra hours compared to conventional charging technology. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you guys would like to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And we'd like to play video games every now and then in this office, so make sure to check us out at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo, and we hope to see you guys there.